how nice is this place? Lake Buffalo, it's all glassed out, looking beautiful. There's Mount Buffalo over there, 1723 meters above sea level. Here is my kayak, my Safari H2O Murray Black, the Black Attack. Love this boat. There's the seat there about to be clipped in. There's my trawling rod in the back with a Halco Crazy Deep lure on it, my favourite redfin trawling lure in these lakes. Conditions couldn't be better. There is only one way, there's just one way that I could improve this situation and that is to bring my paddle. Can you believe it? Oh, I've been that excited to get up here. I couldn't wait, I've come up here, everything is perfect, ready to go. I've got my boat, I've untied the ropes, I've taken the kayak off the roof, put it on the bank of the lake, ready to go. I've started unpacking my gear and then thought, hang on a minute, where's the paddle? It's on the front veranda at home, I've got it out ready to put in the car and I forgot to put it in the car. Ah oh, well, I could use a lot of words to describe this situation but I'm not going to because it's not going to make the paddle appear is it? <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy being up here, I might have a fish off the lake and then I might go up the river we're up in the valley further up where there's a few trout up higher in the hills and do a bit of trout fishing. <laughs> idiot! 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 There's no words to describe my stupidity. <laughs> yeah, they're going mad! <laughs> Finally. Finally. I'm about to head off upstream. I haven't started yet. I'm using a minnow and the minnow that I've got on at the moment is the little wild bait minnow. Now wild bait have got a few different colour ranges and sizes but that one there is the smaller one that I can find in my tackle box. I think it might be caught on attack 3 if it's not it's something similar. It's about 3 centimetres long but look at those beautiful natural colours on that and that's why I've chosen that. I like natural. Natural for trout although natural or fluoro for some reason worked very well. But today I just think natural is going to be good because it's just come off the school holidays it's probably seen a few fishermen, They're probably a little bit switched on or a bit educated, so I'm going all natural with a wild bait minnow. <laughs> see whether it was a brown or a rainbow. The first cast with a little wild bait minnow and the fish went bang. Well I put my line in the little trout hole and the little trout said God bless my soul. I like it. I like it. I like it. I'll take it. <laughs> well there's a touch. Got him. Yes. See if I can land this one. Right Righto folks. Little rainbow. See if I can land this one without actually losing him. Is he foul hooked a bit? He's hooked near the mouth, not actually in the mouth. Oh yeah, he's got the front hook in the corner of his mouth. Alright, now. Well, it's got to be careful when you're using travels because they can be a little bit dodgy. In fact, I should be carrying pliers. Nice little rainbow trout. Oh, see ya, mate. Hooked a fish on the first cast. Two casts later, three casts later, bang, I've got a little rainbow on the little wild bait minnow. Now here's a tip, and one that I should actually adhere to, which I don't, is to carry pliers around, particularly when you're using lures such as minnows like this with front and back hooks, treble hooks, because it's a bit of a death trap. It's quite easy to get those trebles caught in your finger. Now for the kids, that can be quite a, a nightmare or a bit of an ordeal. I'll be quite honest. I have had trebles this size hooked into my finger numerous times and I have always found the best thing to do with a small set of trebles, if it goes in really quickly, just get it, pull it back out. It stings, there's no doubt about it. It's not overly painful but it stings a bit like a bee sting. But if you leave it there and try and wiggle it and jiggle it and work with it, it stings a whole lot more. The best thing you can do is pull them straight back out. But there's only one thing you can do better than that and that is to carry a set of lightweight pliers around with you for helping to get the trebles out of the fish's mouth. Oh, what sort of a cast was that? My casting is not on point. Casting is everything when you're at the bush, when you're in these smaller streams. If you can't cut, got him! See, as soon as I made an accurate cast, 
a little trout come along and said, oh, I like the look of that natural looking little minnow. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. All right, settle down. Rainbow trout are notorious for kicking around. They are absolute wiggle worms. And this one is a nice fish, but he's hooked in three places. I've got all three hooks. I've got one out, and I've got two out, I've got three out. There you go, mate. Nice little rainbow. Back in the drink for another day. See ya, buddy. Like I said, crayfish. Love seeing crayfish in these small streams. Ooh, trout fly that out then. Got him. I can say fish fish. He, be he beached himself. <laughs> yeah, silly bugger. He's a nice rainbow. Getting a bit bigger in size here now. Come on, mate. Come on. Settle down. Settle down. Just calm your farm. Bloody rainbow trout. They are notorious for carrying on like lunatics when they get hooked. You bugger. He's just gone. <laughs> I was going to get a photo of him, and while I was getting my camera out of my bag, he gave a kick, and he got off. But he was the nicest fish I've seen so far. Have a look at that. What a beautiful spot. The swirling backwater over there, and the tree fern. Absolutely glorious. Certainly one of the nicer fishing spots. It's got him. Oh, it's a nice fish. Quite a lot bigger, oh, not a lot bigger, but he's a nice fish. Certainly hit it hard. Gonna let him have a bit of a swim before I reel him in too much. It's a nice little rainbow. Come on, buddy. Right, Amy, stop. Come here. Come to puppy. Come to me. All right. No, don't kick. Don't kick. Listen here, mate. You might not have read the rules, but I've got a no kicking policy. All right. Use the comfort lift. Doesn't look very comfortable. Here's a really nice rainbow trout. Get him unhooked. He is a lovely rainbow trout from a lovely part of the world. Look at that. See you later, buddy. Now here is a tip for anybody wanting to fish with minnows. Always use a loop knot. A loop knot disperses the power evenly as the lure swims. If you've got a normal knot that's on a bit of an angle, it will cause the whole lure to swim sideways. A loop knot or some sort of swivel. A loop knot or some kind of swivel or line clip will help keep the pressure even and in turn help the lure swim straight. A lot of people buy minnows and say they don't work, they don't work, they're crap, they don't swim. A lot of the time it's not the minnow, it's the knot. It's the knot that's the problem and not the actual lure. So a big tip for anybody, and if you've got minnows that you've written off as being crap, learn how to tie a loop knot. And just try them with a loop knot and just see how that goes. Because I tell you what, loop knots will help your minnows swim so much better. Nice little run. Not oh, can I say not overly deep, but something he's chasing it. He's trying to hit it. He's got him. Oh, look at the size of him. I thought he was a lot bigger than that. I thought there was two fish there. Very gently, because I don't want to treble in my finger. Alright. Alright. Now, I really must get in the habit of carrying plies with me for this very reason. Alright, mate. Nice little rainbow, raring to go. See ya, buddy. Off he goes. I'm still seeing. There he goes. Come on. I've seen two brown snakes on my way into this particular spot. Oh, he hit it. Come back. You got it. Oh, he swiped it again and again. There's a nice rainbow trout in there. Yes, I've seen two eastern brown snakes on the way in. I'm pretty sure I am fishing in the Hississippi River. Got him. Little weenie. It's a brownie, this one, is it? Oh no, another little rainbow. Sort of hooked a bit strange, this one. I can hear a helicopter. I don't like hearing helicopters in the bush this time of the year. It makes me wonder whether there's a fire somewhere nearby. It's hooked in the side, this poor bugger, look. He's not even hooked in the mouth. Come here, mate. 
know this isn't uh, pleasant for you. It's actually not pleasant for me either because I don't like seeing this. Right, see you, buddy. I'm sure you'll be okay. I reckon you'll go home and you'll have a couple of stubbies and you'll be just fine. So will the fish. Ha, ha, ha.